A little hint in the background. All right, I'm about to reveal what's in the October 2020 Writerly Care Package so that if you want to make your own care package for yourself in the future, then you have some ideas that you can do that. And also so that the people who are getting the care package will have some extra fun tips on how to use it and why I picked the things that I picked. And on top of that, it'll give you more of an idea if you would like to check out the November Writerly Care Package, which is open as of today. More on that at the end. Stay tuned if you want to find out more about these care packages, but I'm about to take you over here. I am just so excited to talk about all this, but before I go into the actual physical care packages, I think it's really important to also mention the digital writerly care packages because I actually did technically two types of care packages this time around, which I've never done before. The reason that I made digital care packages is because shipping is ridiculous right now. I had a lot of trouble trying to ship things internationally and the price on a couple of them had pretty much doubled. So I decided that the physical care packages would have to be US only for now, but I still wanted to do something for my international friends and also for people who just didn't want to spend maybe this much, but they still wanted to get something fun and a fun little care package for Preptober. So that leads to the digital writerly care package it was originally intended when I promoted it in this picture right here to have three to four, I think it was three to four bonus pages, just like a little gift as something special. But by the time I finished putting it together, it was 14 pages. Some of the pages are simpler, like writing trackers and a tutorial on how to use those. Other things are like a habit tracker, which I explained on Instagram. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of a couple pages in the digital care package. This is a habit tracker that I really wanted to show you. All the different ways you can use a habit tracker because this is a bullet journal idea um, it's really common in like if you look up pinterest bullet journal habit trackers you'll get ideas like this so i'm going to show you some fun ways that you can use a habit tracker to form new habits and keep track the first thing that habit trackers can be used for is to track if you actually do something so then it would usually be just two colors like the thing you did or if you didn't do it and then you would color in each day according to that and you would get a sense of your whole day so it's just more um accountability another way that habit trackers are used is more colors where it tells you say your mood so i should have written this down so mood is one um tracking one habit is another that was the first one i told you you can also track multiple habits and you can color in each color can be a habit and so you would make what's called a color code on the side of what it is so then the mood one back to that would be like say red is like a bad day orange is like it was okay yellow is like eh, didn't really know green is like hey it was pretty good and blue is like best day ever or you might want to change that up or because we're writers i actually wanted there to be enough space in here to do something else more writerly so for example you could write your word count each day that's the very writerly focused one so that's less of a habit tracker and more of, of a specific to writers you could also track pages read each day another thing you could track is just you could just color in if you read that day um, and leave it blank if you didn't so for example you could even put the the name of the book you write so like again word count a thousand twelve words or pages read 12 you know or like yes i read today <laughs> color it in and so this first one i left it um blank as kind of a placeholder because the first day you might be figuring it out but you could also write it in above and color it in and so there you go there were coloring pages there were outline pages there's a page on filling out your preptober plan so that you can figure out what exactly you want to do in nanorimo you can prep for NaNoWriMo. There's a letter of encouragement. There's a link to get the story Bible that I created for free from my website. And there's also a couple other resources and a discount to something that's in the care package, but we'll get to that. There is a download so that you can make um, Penny's cute little face, the wallpaper for your phone. And it says someday you're gonna be somebody's favorite author. If you guys like these, I have a bunch more that I could make for different wallpaper. There's also a freebie where you can download my story Bible template that I made 
on my website. You can get that for free using the code in here. And then there's some resources and also a discount to one of the gifts that I'll be showing you in just a minute. So that's the digital portion of the Writerly Care Package. And again, this is just something that I really wanted to have available for the people who couldn't get the physical care package, especially because it sold out within three days. I'm very excited about that. It's time for the big reveal. If you haven't guessed by now, the very first and the main gift, so to speak, of the care packages is a bullet journal. This is my bullet journal. I know it's clashing with my outfit, but whatever, who cares, I love red. The very first time I got a bullet journal, I got it at Barnes & Noble for like $25, so they can be really expensive, but there are places where you can get really good deals for these guys, and I absolutely love this, let me prove it. Here's my stack of bullet journals. <laughs> this one's technically not a bullet journal, but I treated it like one. You guys know how much of a planner I am, so I love to do like the daily to-do list and the weekly to-do list. And I treat it a lot like a brain dump in some places, where I just sort of play with layouts and I look at Pinterest and I get ideas from there. Um, but one of my favorite spreads to do is a calendar because you can make it work for you. You know, it's not like you have to start it the first day of the month. So in this calendar, I started the second week of, I think, September. And I make all kinds of calendars depending on what I need that particular month. So this one is a content calendar where I can move little sticky notes around like I just did DIY cover design today as I'm filming this video. So you're gonna see this quite a bit later, but that's the day it is today, is September 17th. And so I'll put, you know, a newsletter or Instagram posts or whatever else on here. This is not very updated. I need to update it. But I also make calendars or trackers, so to speak, for writing. And then I also currently have an exercise tracker. I found some of my old Minion stickers from a previous care package. And so I decided to use them for just tracking each day I'm exercising. I also use it to plan out like my YouTube videos. I have my monthly goals in here because it helps to have them in a place where I can see them very easily. I like to track all the books that I'm reading. I have a release timeline. I do end of month tracking. The reason that I love bullet journals so much is because I really do think they increase my productivity, my motivation, my inspiration. They keep that forward momentum going for me because like for example, with the exercise tracker or with the writing tracker, when you're looking at a very big goal like that, like write a book, it can get so overwhelming that I tend to just not do it. But if you break it down into the small steps and then you treat it like a little accomplishment each day, like, hey, I didn't write a lot yesterday or two days ago, but I wrote 313 words and I'm counting it and I'm tracking it. So that gives you that feeling of gratification. Thank you. That's the word that I wanted. So you know how we're a culture of instant gratification. And so when you have have a project that's so big like for a lot of us writing a book is such a big project and even breaking it down into I'm just gonna do this round of edits is still a little bit too big for me and so I don't get the instant gratification that I do if I go and say post on social media and I can check the box so to speak so this is kind of a way of checking the box and it gives me that little sense of I've accomplished something it sounds silly but it works for me. And you can also look on Pinterest and check out all the cool designs they have there. I just wanna have something that's helping me, but if you wanna make them more pretty and artsy, you can, or if you wanna just treat it like a basic notebook where you brain dump to-do lists and so on and so forth, you can do that too. So this really is a make it what you want, which is one of my favorite things about the bullet journal. I absolutely love this. And since Preptober is all about planning and preparing, I thought this would be the absolute perfect gift for Preptober. If you'd like to get a bullet journal for yourself, here is an awesome example of a bullet journal on Amazon that's only $10. Keep in mind this is not counting shipping just yet, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than that. Here is another example on Amazon that's just a little bit more at 15, and you can get multiple different colors. And then here is another brand that is $20, not counting shipping, and so that is a lot like these ones that are sold over at Barnes & Noble. And then also, if you want, you could even Google places where you can customize a bullet journal and maybe put your name on it or something else so you can have something a little bit more unique like this care package. Although keep in mind, you are getting what you pay for. So roughly the average for a bullet journal is gonna be somewhere between $10 and maybe 25 to 30. But we did run into some huge snags when I went to actually create these. So what I found out pretty quickly on is that this particular, it's leather I think or pleather, I don't really know. I think it's leather. Um, the ink does not stick so what i ended up doing is i stamped all of these like i spent all the time to stamp all of them with the stamp ink that i had and then i discovered that if you even 
just touched it, the ink would come off wet. And even though like a day passed and then two days passed, the ink was still coming off wet. So I even took a hair dryer to them to see if that would help. And I was kind of testing everything on my own and nothing was working. So then I dug out this particular sealant that I use when I paint sometimes and I thought this will be perfect. I will paint over with this clear sealant to um, hold the stamp, the ink of the stamp onto the leather. Instead, the moment that I painted it on, it smeared the stamp right off. It actually worked like an eraser. So as I painted it, the stamp was completely erased off even though it had been two full days it was just gone. So I thought, okay, well that's not gonna work because I don't want everyone to get their packages and then if it gets wet or something happens, the stamp is gonna come right off. So you're gonna laugh at me, but I did spend a couple hours doing research and then I went out shopping and looking at the options. And there was not a lot out there, but eventually I found out that there's another kind of stamp that is more permanent ink. Let me show you. This guy right here. So this is archival ink and it is permanent and waterproof. So I let it dry again for another, I think, two or three days. I just laid them out to dry after stamping them. And then now, thank goodness, if you rub across it, nothing happens. Cause, and this is mine, so I'm not as worried about it. But thank goodness, I still would not recommend getting your journals wet if you do decide to get one. But if you did not get the care package and you would like to stamp your own journal, just FYI, you're gonna wanna get the right kind of ink for your stamp. And then you're gonna still wanna be careful with it because while it won't smear by hand anymore, I do think that if you got it wet, it probably would smear. Just FYI. On to the next prize. Oh, before I forget, I bought one extra journal as a backup, a safety precaution, as you will, because it's always smart. I have learned the hard way to make sure you have a little extra supplies just in case something goes wrong or something gets used, or in my case, I wanted to keep some, so I did make my own, obviously. So this was number 51. And you can see that it was a little bit of an oopsie. So what happened is, I slightly moved the stamp, this was my oopsie, and then I decided to try outlining it. And I was like, well, it's not like, it's not bad, but it doesn't match the rest. So this one, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. So stay tuned until the end if you wanna know more about a possible giveaway, but let's keep going. The second gift that I wanted to put in this care package was also chosen specifically for Preptober, and it goes along with the journal, and that is these stickers from my friend, Mandy Lynn. Oh my gosh, look, it's the UPS guy. He's, <gasps> he's coming. Is he going? No, he went to the wrong house. Maybe he'll come to our house next because we're waiting for the stickers. I know, I'm upset too. He's going to the wrong house. <laughs> we're literally waiting, watching the UPS guy. Thank you, Penny. Is he coming to our house? Is he coming? I can't tell. They're supposed to arrive today, but they haven't got here in time for this video. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and film and then hope these stickers get here soon. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's here. It's here, it's here, it's here. I'm so excited. Okay. <gasps> I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't see it. That was such a lie. It was totally the stickers. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Look at that. Woo! We have everything we need, Penny. Just so excited. You don't even know why you're excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one of these is for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys. We're gonna have a little unboxing. Penny's gonna be very helpful in this location. <laughs> I should have shown you, my bad. It has this adorable sticker that I'm about to ruin from the book launch planner. You wanna see? Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're gonna try not to ruin it. Yes. You want that part? Okay, just gonna take that away. There you go, you take it. <laughs> Let me start with this one. I, I tend to be a words person, so this one gets me excited. I know that's weird, but I really love the um, acts and then the character stuff and the goals right here. So then that, I think I'll do like a goals page and then I'll put this at the top. Preptober. That one's my favorite right now. Either that or this one or maybe this one. And of course it's fall themed, so you gotta have your pumpkins and your leaves. So anyway, let me do a more calm. <sighs> there you go. Check that out, isn't that pretty? Sorry about Penny, she's demolishing the wrapping. 
You're the cutest. I also got an extra set of these for a giveaway that I will, again, tell you more about at the end of this video. When I first decided that I wanted to have stickers to go along with my bullet journal, I started looking at Etsy and then I realized that my good friend Mandy designed stickers and I would love to support her business by buying them from her. So I purchased this Preptober sticker set with the dates and also this Preptober sticker set with the decor. Individually, these are $3.25 each plus shipping. So just keep that in mind that the more you get all in one, the more you'll save on shipping. I will put a link to all of these stickers below. Also, I want to point out that Mandy had some misprints where the only difference is that we realized that it didn't say goals here in this little white box. So if you want to get a nice deal, as long as supplies last, you can get this for just a dollar. One last thing I want to mention is that I am an affiliate and the link is below because I love Mandy's stickers. So if you want to, you can get 10% off when you're checking out. All you have to do is put the code Bethany 10 and that will give you that 10% discount discount on all of your purchase. And I got to be in on the sort of like a ground floor of this design and get like an insider sneak peek at all the things that Mandy actually drew and put together for this care package. So that made it really, really special to me to feel like these were almost sort of designed for the care package, even though technically Mandy was going to do Preptober stickers anyway, but it felt like it was special to this little project. So thank you, Mandy. Big shout out to her. These stickers are still available on Mandy's website, so I will link them below along with a fun discount that she gave. I think it's 10% off. This is my backdrop. <laughs> oh, I'm making fun of you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's so cute. Anyway, I am so excited to use these stickers and create a bullet journal spread specifically for Preptober and for planning what I'm gonna write in November for NaNoWriMo. So if you're excited for NaNoWriMo, give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, let me just mention there's a cute button next to the thumbs up that says subscribe and you could check it out if you want. On to the next present, we have this guy, a door knocker. So this has a really fun fun story behind it, but first let me zoom in and show you. It says, shh, I'm writing something brilliant. And this has one of my favorite pictures that I've ever taken for Instagram way long ago now. So the story behind this is that last winter, I think it was, my husband was talking to me whenever I was writing. It seemed like every time I sat down to write, he was like, let's talk, let's, you know, have a conversation, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love that. I always would love to hang out, he's the best. But it was always mid-thought, mid-writing, and I'd be like, uh, uh, no, stop, oh no, it's gone. And so finally, he got out a sticky note and he wrote on it, busy on one and then free or something like that on the other, it's been a while now. But then he stuck the busy one to my forehead. <laughs> And he's like, now I know that I shouldn't talk to you. And I laughed and we thought that was hilarious. And he's like, no, but for real, you should actually do this. Cause how, do, how can I tell if I can bother you or if you're busy? So that is where this comes in. I'm sure that especially right now where everybody's home, there's probably a lot of situations where you're with the people you love and you want them to know gently that you are busy. <laughs> So that is the goal of this door knocker, but I also think it's just a fun aesthetic if you want to just pin it up somewhere as well, either way. The fourth gift is a postcard. There's a quote out there somewhere and I have no idea who originally said it. I tried to find it and I couldn't figure out who originally said a similar quote about the creative process where they had, I think it was like five bullet points and it was like, kind of a roller coaster. And so I decided to make my own little roller coaster of how I feel when I go through the stages of writing a book, which is best idea ever, total garbage, and it's okay. Just take gold. No one will ever see this. I should never write again. I quit. Wait, this could work. Oh yeah, I'm awesome. Repeat. <laughs> the reason that I created this was because I personally am going through this roller coaster almost daily <laughs> um, and a lot of writers do, but I feel like a lot of us think we're alone. A lot of us get into say these stages, especially the like, I should never write again, I quit, or just doubting ourselves, that imposter syndrome that I've talked about in the past. It can make you feel like you're the only one. It can make you feel like everyone else is a great writer and I'm the one who sucks, especially for me at least, when I go to read one of these amazing books behind me that are finished products, and then I go to work on my unfinished product that is still 
just in need of a lot of work because it's not done yet. And so that comparison can also make me ride the roller coaster of writing emotions. So this roller coaster of the creative process, I probably should have written roller coaster, but this is something that I personally am going to put up on my bulletin board that's right behind you guys here so that I can see it whenever I'm writing and just keep that in mind that this is normal. This is part of the process. So if you want to, you can keep that somewhere where you can see it as well. And that's the point of this one. Ah, my leg is falling asleep. But before I finish this little section, I wanted to also show you this bookmark. Whoops that I include in the care packages as well. This character art of Ari right here is by my good friend Ingrid, and I will put her Instagram information below if you wanna check out all of her other character art, a bookmark that I could give you guys as well. And then I have like a million business cards that I am probably never leaving the house again, so who am I gonna give them to besides you guys? So these are going in there, just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> Okay, my legs are falling asleep. So now I am going to go ahead and put all of the other gifts on top of this and lay it all out. One other thing I want to show you so that if you are someone who gets the gift, you're not going to be like, what the heck is this? Let me turn this around. I also cut um, a little piece of cardboard for all of these so that when I put the door knocker in there, see how it's a little bit bigger than the bullet journal? I didn't want it to get smushed. So I created this cardboard cutout so that when I wrap it, it should hopefully not bend. It should still be safe. And I secretly hope that somehow every single person who gets their care package will get their favorite color and it will be exactly what they need for that month. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. I put a lot of thought and effort into it. All right, as promised at the beginning of this video, I wanna walk you through really quick how to create this care package for yourself if you would like to create your own. The first thing, of course, is you're going to need a bullet journal. Like I said at the beginning, they're usually 10 to $20. The next thing you'll need is these Preptober stickers, which are available on Mandy's website, and I linked those below low with my 10% discount if you want to get a little bit of a discount on those. After that, of course, is the door knocker and the postcard inspiration. These two are one of a kind and they are available on my website for a discounted price until supplies run out if you want to grab those. On my end, it costs $7 for shipping, handling, and packing supplies. And so if you are ordering online, make sure you budget for those expenses. But if you are going out to buy things in person, then of course that's not an issue. And of course, if you want it to be exactly like the care package that everyone else received from me this month then you could also purchase the ten dollar digital portion of the care package which is available on my website also linked below if you want to include that so it is a little bit pricey but hopefully all of these things will help you in writing your book and of course if you're making it yourself you can pick and choose which of these things are most helpful to you and I also am really excited about November because believe it or not I think November's gifts are going to be even better <laughs> in case you're curious about the November writerly care package here are a few things that you need to know. Number one, there's still a very limited number. So in the October or Preptober package, I did 50 care packages total, and it was a little overwhelming, but I felt like it was doable. So in November for NaNoWriMo, I'm thinking to do 75, but I just want you to know that even though that sounds like a lot, they sold out in three days last time. So just want you to be aware. The second thing you should know is that whether they sell out or I close them, they will close on the 10th of the month. So they'll open on the 1st, I probably should have said that, and then they will close on the 10th at the very latest because I have to then order all of the supplies and then package it and then mail it to you so it gets to you by the next month at the very beginning hopefully of the next month. The third thing that you should know is I actually do have a couple not those, a couple of these left and a couple of these left. If you didn't get the Preptober care package and you want either of these, you can add on one or both. Technically, I guess you could get them by themselves if you want to, but the shipping will just be a little bit ridiculous, just warning you now. So if you want to have basically free shipping and add these on to the next month care package, you definitely can do that as long as supplies last. I don't know what number we're on now, probably four, maybe five, I don't know. But the next thing that I probably should have made the first thing is where you can find them. These are located on my website, which is linked below. The next thing that you should know is that yes, there will be another digital writerly care package. It's gonna have a lot of brand new things. Specifically, one thing, let me give you a sneak peek. This is one of my favorite things that I've designed in the past for NaNoWriMo specifically, although you could use it any other month. And this is about 
getting to 50k. This is actually also in my novel planner notebooks, which is what I originally designed it for, but I also gave it to my patrons as a free gift. If you want to check out Patreon, I'll link that below too. But this is something I definitely want to include. And the only reason that I'm showing you is because people have already seen this. Everything else is supposed to be secret. I want you to be surprised. So by the time that you're watching this, the digital care package and the physical care package will both be open on my website. You can go check them out. When you get the digital care package, you will actually get that right away. So you'll be ready for NaNoWriMo a month early, I guess. And then when you get the physical care package, just know that the, again, the physical part of it is what comes in the month that it's intended to be. So that'll arrive in November but I will also email you the digital care package as a bonus gift on top of that. So everybody who gets a care package gets the digital care package. I can't say that word. I don't know why. You might think that I'm done, but I saved the best secret for last. Actually, there's two secrets because I still have to talk about that giveaway. This is something that I made just for NaNoWriMo. It is an add-on is what I've been calling them. So just a quick what that is. Last month I offered a couple different add-ons. So I offered these novel planner notebooks and I probably will offer these again, at least for NaNoWriMo because they're very related to NaNoWriMo. It makes sense. I also offered an add-on that was exclusive to last month, which was a puzzle. And also I did notebooks based on the stolen kingdom and the enchanted crown. So those were last month. This month I have some exclusive add-ons that I actually made myself. So let me just show you. I'm calling these Scrabble art. So let me just show you. This is probably my favorite word boss. There's the one that's on my desk that you probably saw in the background and didn't even realize it. It says story life. These are all just frames that I already had that I don't need anymore. So I decided to make stuff. That right there. Can you see that? Okay. There. We've got something more basic, right? These are, I want to say five by seven frames doesn't say anywhere does it it's been a long time i don't actually remember but yeah i think these are five by seven frames author this is the only one that has a picture in it oh my gosh this one was really fun to make this one says can you say next page for the readers out there i kind of wanted to have a balance of reading and writing okay kind of works i'm running out of room i love reading right there i love books uh-oh can you see that? Not really, but you know it's there. We have two smaller ones. This one says read. You can kind of see the size difference if I put it next to it. This is, I think, a four by six. Well, the inside is four by six. The frame might be slightly larger for both of them. Where can I put that? I don't know what I'm doing. Last but not least, <laughs> I was running out of Scrabble pieces, so I got a little artsy here with read. And this is another baby frame. All of these are one of a kind. Again, these are four by six and the other ones are five by seven. And then I have no idea what this is. I really don't. They will be on my website listed as add-ons. And again, you could technically get these separately. You're just gonna save on shipping if you get it along with a care package. So totally up to you if you wanna get it on its own or with a care package. But I worked really hard on these, so I'm very excited about them. So again, if you wanna check out the website to see what add-ons there are this month, just know that some of them, like these, are limited like there's only the one and that's all that I have and then there's others like the notebooks and just a quick note that this digital care package will also be in the $10 tier over on patreon because my patrons are the absolute best people ever and so I want to support them and give back to them so if you prefer you can go ahead and join my patreon and get the same stuff but also get access to my resource library social media club posts early video access, exclusive videos, and all the other good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff over there. If you're curious, check out the link in the description where all the links live. I hope you like this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can see how much care and thought that I put into these packages. And if you wanna make something for yourself, I always encourage you to do that. I have this video right here about like how you can put together a care package for yourself that includes examples from other care packages that I've done in the past. And I have this video right here, which was me putting together the very first writerly care package ever. If you're curious and wanna watch that, I will link both of those below. And I think there's one other video. Yes, the one that I put out last month where I was introducing this kind of just walks you through why I do care packages and um, how long they're going to last. That's all.
I am so done with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had such a blast putting these together and so I just can't wait. I would absolutely adore seeing your reaction because I have worked so hard on these. Like I'm tearing up right now, what's going on? I just, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe, you know, if you want to. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. Yeah, I did. I forgot an important thing, which is the giveaway. So this, you remember my oopsie that I mentioned early on in the video? Well, this gorgeous guy is going to be a giveaway. I'm going to do this over on Instagram very soon, if not today. So go over to Instagram. I will put the my handle as it's called right there. And this will come with, of course, all the other goodies and the stickers, which I don't have yet. <laughs> so I'll see you over on Instagram for that so bad right now and so I sneeze probably at least once a day and this is what happens you're like our little COVID detector is that what you are always do the wrong height there we go my head's still cut off I don't know if that's a thing now if that's what people do that's what I do by accident She's so concerned about me. Girl, I love you so much. <laughs> so concerned right now. <laughs> Let's get a real angle on this thing. Like I am gonna pretend I know what I'm doing as a YouTuber, cause I kinda know some days. We're gonna do a very short intro, I promise it'll be real short. This is what a YouTuber has to do. You have to just suffer. You just gotta suffer for a minute. Thank you. Thank you so much. Such a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs>